as someone who has been through aggressive cancer and done a pretty good job of beating the hell out of it. My biggest fear is if cancer would come back. Hi, Parul Manka here. Now, I don't live with this fear of recurrence on an everyday basis, but I do find that I get triggered around specific dates like the date when I was diagnosed or when I was going in for surgery or when I go for my annual checkups. Last Friday was one such day. I was going for my annual checkup and I felt vulnerable. I felt, what if this is the day when my luck runs out? And um, I put up a post on social media about how I was feeling vulnerable and uh, how scared I felt about a potential recurrence of cancer and how I snapped out of that fear. What followed that post was such an outpour of love, such an outpour of support from people all over the world. There were people who were my clients who reached out to say that I was in their thoughts. There were people who sent love and hugs as part of coaching community. There were people who I have been client to. There were people who just follow my work on social media. There are people who have been following my story on social media. There, there were people who have read my book, my cancer memoir. And it was just so fantastic to receive all that love and support from people all over the world. I felt like a little bit of celebrity, I must say. So here is what I want to share with you. Because I received that love and support doesn't mean that I'm weak. No. Being a strong person doesn't mean that you cannot be vulnerable at all. No. In fact, allowing yourself the time and space to be vulnerable and seek support is a great sign of strength. So no matter what's going on in your life, in your personal life or in your professional life, if you need the... If you have the need for support, reach out to somebody. It is okay to not be okay all the time. And uh, we do have the strength to snap out of our fears. We do have the strength to bounce back, to be resilient. I could do it and so can you. But don't suffer alone. Reach out for help. And uh, thank you to each one of you who kept me in your prayers, who kept me in your thoughts. And um, I send lots and lots of love back to you. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.